On termine l'après-midi avec Mark Chia. Il est venu de Singapour avec ses parents qui sont ici dans la salle aujourd'hui. Euh, Marc a commencé l'étude du violon à l'âge de 3 ans. Il a été primé dans quatre concours internationaux euh, depuis 2019. Et quand il range son violon, c'est un garçon qui a beaucoup d'idées. Euh, il improvise, il compose. Alors, j'en dis pas davantage. On l'accueille dans la musique de Sarazate et de Manuel Ponce avec toujours notre pianiste collaborateur Carson Baker. Voici, mesdames et messieurs, Mark Chia de Singapour.
Mark Chia, mesdames et messieurs, from Singapore. Mark, it's wonderful. I'm sure you have many fans uh, listening to you online right now, as we have the, this afternoon people from the UK tuning in on concoursmontreal.ca. There were people from Japan, people from the state, uh, people from Switzerland also. And you have your fan club too, eh? Do you? Um, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, you're 10 years old. And I was, uh, when I introduced you, I said that you were composing and you also play the piano. You improvise so many things. What, uh, how do you do that? Um, well, I don't really do them every day. Like for example, when I play the piano, I don't practice as much as the violin. And for composing, I just like to do it. So I do it when I have free time. It's one of my hobbies. Can I ask you a favor? Would you like to play a few bars of something you composed? I actually don't remember any. Ah, ah. maybe one day you will write it down. Yeah. Wait. Aha, aha. Uh, you have one more piece to play? Oh. We'll hear it. We'll hear it. That's great. And I'll be back in one minute.
Wonderful, wonderful. You know, you're already a great artist because you didn't lose your concentration. It was not meant to be that I came in between and you kept playing. Oh, you did? <laughs> Mark, you're a wonderful musician and we'll now turn to our panel and ask them uh, a, few, uh, a few comments. Miaela uh, Martin. Congratulations. You are such a wonderful presence on stage and um, there is something that it impressed me enormously is you are f that you are fearless and this is a wonderful quality for a musician uh, because of course the pieces that you, we play they're always challenging our our limits in both both instrumentally and musically and you seem to be someone who's so curious and so open and as i said so fearless so i'm i'm sure you you will have uh, fun all your life making music we i already feel that so it's wonderful bravo oh. c'est fantastique cette absence de peur, cette confiance déjà sur scène, alors euh, le plaisir de jouer aussi. Euh, Est-ce qu'on a d'autres commentaires, euh, Richard, Richard Rodzinski? My usual comment, I guess. Uh, I look forward very much to hearing your Mozart tomorrow, and I wanted to know how much of other music of Mozart have you listened to, or played, you say you played the piano. Uh, have you listened to his operas, for instance, when you, when you play a sonata, do you think in terms of the voice, which was such a major part of Mozart's concern? Uh, did, did you listen to Mozart opera? Um, I listened to the magic flute and I think I heard some clips of, what's that, the magic of Marriage of Figaro. Yeah. Alors, quand même, il a fait enchanter les noces de Figaro. Euh, il a déjà entendu des choses. Alors, euh, on va l'entendre demain dans un concerto de Mozart. Est-ce qu'il y a d'autres commentaires de la part de nos membres du jury, de notre panel? Euh, Jinjo? Jinjo Cho. Lovely. I concur with everything that's been said. I, um, I also just love the fact that you are having a great time <laughs> on stage. It's such a nice quality because uh, as an audience member, we are invited into your world and there is such joy and happiness in your world. And, and so I had a really great time uh, listening to you. I, I was just going to say that as a comment, um, just going forward, I think you can pay a little bit more attention to having um, a little bit better sound quality when your positions get upstairs and uh, make sure that you're maintaining the beautiful, beautiful singing voice that you have downstairs. So make sure the cohesiveness of the sound is maintained. Yeah, Donc, beautiful uh, job. Maintenir le chant, Mark, it was wonderful. And tomorrow, uh, when we have a chat, we will have a surprise for the audience, okay? We, we'll show them tomorrow. Alors demain, on va vous montrer quelque chose parce que c'est un garçon qui a beaucoup, beaucoup de talent et ça va vraiment vous étonner. Alors à nouveau, mesdames et messieurs, merci beaucoup, Marc Chia. Well, what a blessing to have been able to meet and listen to these five prodigies today. Corinne Deng, Sofia Dimitriades, Imari Edna Unseld et Marc Chia. Euh, sans oublier notre pianiste collaborateur Carson Beckham, mesdames et messieurs, à nouveau. Alors, tout un après-midi d'émotion. J'espère que vous serez là à nouveau demain, ici à la salle Bourgie du Musée des Beaux-Arts de Montréal ou encore sur concoursmontréal.ca. Demain, euh, on va les entendre avec l'Orchestre de l'Agora sous la direction de Nicolas Ellis. Et euh, je vous rappelle que vous pouvez suivre en salle, euh, bien sûr, vous, ici en salle ou encore sur concoursmontréal.ca. Euh, toutes les épreuves de violon 2023 seront retransmises à partir du 25 avril dès 14 h Un grand merci encore une fois à tous nos partenaires de Mini Violini, euh, dans la salle Bourgie, qui nous accueille aujourd'hui. Uh, thank you, dear panel, for your precious commentaries. Merci infiniment d'être avec nous. On applaudit nos panélistes, mesdames et messieurs. 
N'oubliez pas, n'oubliez pas le prix du public. Do not forget uh, the uh, audience prize. You still have 15 minutes ici en salle ou encore sur le site concoursmontréal.ca pour voter. Alors, merci beaucoup de votre présence. Thank you for being here today. À demain pour la suite de Mini Violini.